Hello everyone, this is Firebird854 and today I will be doing a Blender tutorial on how to make next gen game items including how to fake geometry and create a board that used to look like this these are actually the same amount of faces and fake it to look like this so I'm just going to start out by closing that now first thing uh, you kind of want to do is create uh, another little file over here otherwise it's going to be really hard to take care of everything so I'm going to open up the uh, default Blender scene there we go. I'm just going to start a new file. Awesome. And we just have the default scene right here, the cube in the middle. I'm just going to delete this cube. Press 7 and then press 5. 7 brings you into top view and then 5 brings you into orthographic. I always try and model in orthographic because I just don't like that perspective distortion. So, we're just going to start off by pressing Shift A and then add a plane. And then press tab to tab over into edit mode. And then we're just going to start by pressing S and then Y. Move that out a bit. One, about two blender units should work. So we can actually hit S, Y, and then two. And then we can just hit E for extrude. And then we can just pull that up a bit. It automatically does it against the Z axis, which is convenient. We want right about there. It has to be a realistic looking board. So if you have to type everything in, I do it at about 0.3. Okay. Now, what we have to do is UV map it. So, I don't really like the whole default menu for UV editing. I just prefer to bring this over into a separate view. And then just open up the UV editor. There we are. UV image editor. Press new. And this is not a tutorial on UV mapping, so I'm not going to go into detail or do anything extreme. So I'm just going to press A and then U to unwrap and just do a smart UV project. Very useful tool, just press OK. And there we go, it's unwrapped. And then we want to just hit image, sorry, new, and OK. And there we go, we have this unwrapped into a black background. So now let's just head back into object mode, hit Shift D to duplicate it. And then we want to go over to our outliner and then just make one of these uh, unclickable and unviewable. And then click on the corresponding one. And this is going to be our high res model or artist rot model. And then we're going to press tab to go back into edit mode. And then press W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. And maybe one more time. And then these edges right here are actually becoming subdivided a lot faster than the top because there were more polygons than there originally. So just press 7 and then Z and then A to deselect them and make it so that we can click through. We also want to click face mode. Maybe scroll up a bit. Pull on down. There we go. And now that we have both of those sides selected, we're just going to subdivide that some more. And yes, to you experts out there that did create some tris along the edges. That doesn't matter because this is just our artist copy. So, maybe one more time for fun. You want to go until it starts slowing down your computer. So head over to sculpt mode. And now comes the fun part. You actually need to find an image in order to sculpt onto this. And to do this, I just use Google. Let's see, image result. And I just found this picture of wood. And then I downloaded this picture of wood. And I have it right here in this folder. And now the interesting thing is there's this program right here called SS Bump Generator 5.3. And now it actually uses CUDA cores, definite plus. Anyways, this program is great at baking things from ambient occlusion maps to normal maps and even making simple grayscale or height maps. So this is actually the easiest function that it does. And you can just click right here. This is a free download. And this just opens it up, and I'm already in the file. I just click on whatever I want to be converted, press open, and it makes a height map right there. And as you can see, that's a grayscale value map, and that can be used for sculpting onto the objects. So I'm just going to go back to my Blender scene. There we are. And now I have to go and open that up under the material, no, the textures panel, and I have to click right here in the little paintbrush and then hit new and then go down here and hit image or movie and then under that we just want to open up we we'll head on over to our board folder and grab that height map image open that okay now we just want to up that radius a lot Even more and up the strength a bit not too much you don't want too much deformation 
And I'm not actually going to apply a symmetry to this, simply because me affecting the top on such a small object between the top faces and the bottom faces is already going to affect the bottom faces. Yes, it would be in a negative value, but it would still give it a realistic texture. So I'm just going to click once up here, and then click once down here. And we have some really nice, well, deformation there. And I'll, and I'll let it keep this. It's, it is a bit um, a bit much, if, if you ask me. But uh, when you when we do our normal mapping, we kind of want a lot. So then you actually get the full effect. So then we will head back to, mm, let's go to object mode. Smooth it out. That just adds a smooth modifier to the shadings. Gives a nice effect. We can actually also go into sculpt mode, press 1, and then just down the radius size a bit. And we just want to get the, oh, it's had the texture again. And we really just want to get the sides to have some kind of a deformation to it, maybe not as much as the other ones, because it can uh, get you some unwanted results in the edges if you give it basically the same. You get some fighting, especially in the normal map. So just something out of the normal, and then maybe grab a couple areas out. We just really want a definite normal map. Because the focus of the image is going to be on the top and even the bottom. Okay, now back to object mode. And now what we're going to do is bake the normal map. So, make it so that the other one appears as well. We are going to click on the high detail to art copy of the plane. And we are just going to click on it and then shift click on the other one in the outlier and you need them to both be at the same area and if they're not you can just go here and clear all of these values to zero on both of them and it'll make it so they both occupy the same space and then we're going to go over to the render tab go all the way down and you will notice a little area a little tab that says bake we want to click right there we don't want a full render instead we simply want a normal map and then we just want selected to active there we go and now we just press bake it should just take a matter of seconds, depending on what kind of a system you have. And there we go, an effective normal map. So, now we ha what we have to do is apply that normal map. So right now, it is actually saved into the temp fi files. And if we keep it saved in the temp files, then we could run into issues if we try and apply more of them. That those temp files get cleared out, and we'll have a hard time finding them or bringing them back. So, simple thing to do is just to save a copy. I like to save a copy to the same folder and make sure you give it a name. You could just go board underscore normal. And it might take a little bit to save a PNG. So now that you have that saved, you can actually just make it so that the uh high the high res one is both unseeable and unrenderable. Okay? Now we want to go and keep that selected, go and add a material, and then add a texture. And then under the, under the texture, just want to hit image or movie, just like before. And we're just going to go and locate it under boards. And you can actually bookmark these, very convenient. Open that right up. Now these are some... Well, very careful setting, so if you need to pause the video and write it down or just look back and forth very quickly, we have to hit UV for coordinates. So it's actually going to take coordinates from here other than just trying to map it out along the whole thing by itself. And then down here, we're going to hit normal instead of color because this is, this is not a diffuse map. It will affect the geometry or at least fake it. In. And then another very important one is under image sampling, hit normal map and make sure this is on tangent for tangent space normals. And now we can take our camera and press F12 and you should see a nice normal map of this object. That is all fake geometry. None of that is real. So it's very easy to work with and that's another reason to, do, to use it too in such animations so, I mean, we can turn it and it still gives you the same result. Thank you again for watching this tutorial. And that is how you make a normal map with Blender. This is actually the first in a series of three. In the next uh, part of this tutorial, I will be showing you how to texture it using a diffuse map. We painted ourselves with that same wood texture, so don't lose it. And then uh, in the third tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a specular map. And then setting up some nice lighting to show it off. Mm -hmm.